Throw, 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 throw it up. <laughs> Start twerking like Molly. Oh yeah, twerking like Molly. Don't pop it like Molly. Hello, welcome to our top ten movies 2016. This is our opinions, so I know some of you won't agree with it. So I want to see you guys. I want to see you guys make your lists. Do your top ten movies 2016 lists and put them in the comment section below for me to read. Also, one more thing before we start. Only movies that we we watched for our achievement videos are ed eligible for our list. So that is why there's going to be a lot of like good movies from this year missing. Because we didn't do all the movies this year, obviously. So if you're wondering why certain movies aren't there. Well, it's because we didn't see them. So they're not in the, not going to be in the list. Or because they sucked really bad. And they won't be on the list either. But you'll know that by watching our, all our videos. Alright, so now we got that out of the way, let's start the countdown. 10. Coming in at number 10, we have Finding Dory, a movie we gave an 8 out of 10 rating. The movie was alright, the reason it got such a lowest score was based on a mixture of being overhyped and a boring drama story which could have been good if it wasn't so long. The movie was full of really good moments and some hilarious scenes which helped bring us to the 8 out of 10 we gave it. If you want to know more about the movie and how we felt about it, the link to the achievements video will be in the description below. Nine. Coming in at number nine is X Men Apocalypse. Well, uh, we scored it at an eight out of ten. Uh, we enjoyed the movie a little bit more than Finding Dory, so we put it higher on our list. Like, obviously, um, it was a good movie. It just seemed to lack a little bit of the lackluster of the first two movies of the series. So uh, we weren't quite sure what to put our finger on. What was missing? But, if you want to learn a little bit more about that, go back and watch our movie, right here. And, uh, we'll tell you all about it. What we actually thought, in the moment, everything like that. So, go back and watch it. Alright, so now we're at number 8. For number 8, we have Angry Birds, the movie. So, going into this movie, we had a really low expectation of it because, you know, it's a video game movie and it's a phone video game movie of all the things. Um... Surprisingly, we really enjoyed it. We gave it an 8.25 out of 10, which, you know, blows our mind considering it was we thought it was going to be trash. Um, with the mixture of an actually half-decent storyline and uh, even having a pedophile joke. I'm not kidding, a pedophile joke, which wasn't really that funny, but it still was, like, something that stood out, right? And, um... The main reason why it got such a great review out of our uh, out of our opinions was when we went to see it. Uh, there was a guy up in the corner. I th <laughs> there was a guy getting a hand job in the theater. So yeah, uh, that, that's that's the reason why we got it. Uh, definitely helped raise the mark of this movie. So good on you, Angry Birds. Seven. The Jungle Book takes the number seven spot with a rating of eight point two five out of ten. Like, like earlier, even though we gave it the same rating as Angry Birds, we still like this one a little more. This movie was just a straight-up great Disney movie. Dark themes, happy ending, and some awesome in-betweens. If you want to see what we thought of the movie, go back and watch the Chinos video for Jungle Book. The link will be in the description below. Six. Also rated 8.25. And the number six film on the list, Why Him. This is the last film we saw this year. And it was honestly so good. The humor was great. James Franco and Brian Cranston made an amazing pair that worked so well together. Mixed to the fact that I personally thought the story was great and the characters were super relatable. I personally related to James Franco's character a lot. Which I don't know if it's a bad or a good thing though. If you'd like to check out that achievements video, the link will be in the description below. Five. Coming in at number five, we have probably my favorite movie out of the, out of them all, Ratchet and Clank, which we gave an 8.25 out of 10. As well, quite honestly, I'd rather give it an 8.5 instead. This was the first movie we've seen for Cheap Nights. Well, not technically, the first movie we saw was Dirty Grandpa. But that video never made it to YouTube, and it never will. The movie is honestly the best video game movie ever made, in my opinion. It had so many awesome PlayStation Easter eggs. If you'd like to take a trip down memory lane, the link for the first ever achievement video will be in the description below. Four. 
Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them sits at number 4 on the list with a rating of 8.75 out of 10. This is the first Chibis video we did after a 3 month break. And it was absolutely amazing. The story was great, the characters were awesome. The creatures were pretty entertaining. I know that some parts felt jumbled. But that's what happens when you make a movie with intention to making a 5 part movie series. Yes, I know, 5 parts. I was honestly shocked when I saw it too. I just hope the next 4 are as good as this one. Don't forget to check out the Cheapness video for more details on why we liked it so much. Link will be in the description below. Below, yeah. Three. So now, we're into the top three. Best of the best, in our opinion. Without further ado, Central Intelligence with The Rock, Kevin Hart, uh, they introduce another great comedic pair. The Rock being hilarious as ever, and the Kevin Hart being, you know, well, Kevin Hart. Excuse me, man, can you spare some change? Nigga, what the? <laughs> hey, man, you better get your ass out of here, nigga. You out here trying to flick lips, cuz? You out here trying to give a nigga a bump bump, nigga, I know what you got. Made for a great movie. We gave this movie a rating of 8.88 out of 10. I know it's a fucked number system, but you gotta do what you gotta do. With the sheer hilariousness and decent storyline, I definitely earned, it definitely earned its spot as number three. We're finally up to number two, and at that spot we have Bad Santa 2, uh, which is also probably the best comedy we saw this year. Coming in at 9.25 out of 10, Billy Bob Thornton is back as Bad Santa, and he blew the first movie out of the water. It's one of the only movies that I've ever seen where the set, where the sequel is actually better than the first movie. Honestly, uh, the jokes were super offensive and everything we like in a movie. Mix that in with a decent plot line and a twist ending, you got yourself a great movie. Check out our Cheap Nights video, it's gonna be down here. We'll give you more information about what we liked and what we didn't like about it, so yeah. Before we give you number one, we're gonna give you the least liked movie out of any of them that we saw this year. So, let's get the drum roll, please. Literally the worst movie of the year for our cheap nights. Uh, that, that, was, um, that was a drum roll. That was a drum roll. You want me to say it? Yep. Um, uh, this is, um, Captain, Amer Ave Captain Avenger Civil War. Captain America Civil War. Garbage! We, gar <laughs> we garnished it with a nice 6.25 out of 10. Lowest rated movie we seen on Cheap Nights. That was generous, too. Yeah. <laughs> that was <laughs> fucking generous. It's because I rated it a 7 because I liked the ending. That was the only good part, though. Yeah, so that's why, <laughs> that's why I went from like a 5 to like a 7. It raised up two fucking points because of that. But yeah, that's, that's fair. That's it. If you you had to watch... sit through two hours of movie to get to get like the good yeah. part, though. <laughs> so you want to watch the more details on that? It'll be in the description below. below. I don't know where my hands go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> one. Time to reveal our number one pick. But first, I would thank anybody who has watched the Chima series and given us the drive to keep going. Now for the big reveal, our number one movie with a rating of nine point seven five out of ten is it is. Moana. This is honestly one of the best movies I've seen all year, and quite possibly one of the de best Disney movie in years. This is the movie that Frozen should have been. It had an amazing storyline, wicked soundtrack, and really good cast, including The Rock. Plus, it was a musical. We have not given this movie to anyone and everyone who has not seen it yet. I know you're probably asking, But you said Ratchet and Clank was your favorite movie. Why are you saying you love Moana so much? Well, that's that. I love Moana. It was basically a perfect movie. But it wasn't my favorite, just like Ratchet and Clank. Oh, if you want to check out our Cheap Mets video for Moana, it's in the description below. And all the all the Cheap Mets videos, links will be in the description below that are, that are in this video that we talk about. Well, that was the list 2016. Hope you enjoyed it. I cannot wait to get going on season two of Cheap Meds. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you enjoyed the video and turn on notifications so you can see all the other great content we upload. Well, that's all for now. See you next Tuesday. Peace.